What's up, Tarnish? It's your boy Albin. We're back with another video. So today's video is going to be on. I just have to take a pause because it's just I, I had to do something that was super hard for me today. I had to delete. I had to delete over 140 videos on my channel today. So I'm recreating some, and it's gonna be no audio. It's just going to be my voice from now on for a while. For a while. It's just going to be my voice. No audio. Um, hopefully, I make it entertaining for y'all. And make this pro tip for y'all, right? This is going to be a pro tip video, a how-to video. Um, this is going to be me recreating the starter guide. And hopefully, just hopefully, you know, I can get y'all to view this and, you know, pay attention to what I'm saying. The first time I made it. I rushed it. I rushed a little bit this time. I promise. I know way more. So this is gonna be a proper starter guide and pro tips and things that you might not know. So first thing, when you spawn in, right? You spawn in at Hodge Village. You spawn on one of those pillars right there, right? And the first thing I would say to do is you head towards your quest. Your quest is typically on the top right here, as you can see. Whenever you click on your quest, it shows you where your location, the location you have to go. The starter quest, the starter repeatable quest that y'all can go ahead and do, y'all can go ahead and do the, the bandit. Or if y'all want, y'all can go right here and y'all can form green grass. The NPC bandits are right over there. I'll show y'all where they're at. They're right over here. Wait, I'm clicking the button. The NPC bandits are right here. There you go. But honestly, I wouldn't even advise you to form these guys. I would say just form the guys across the bridge. Because this, this is a pro tip. Just form the guys across the bridge right here. You go ahead and form these guys. They're, they are tanky a little bit. And after you hit like level 15 and you unlock your first Grimoire move, which is at Mastery 10. Um, you can go ahead and move over to trying to form bosses there's a boss called venom and he's located in that area or you can go f um, farm the wolf so when you're done you're gonna have to come back you're gonna come back to this guy he's gonna give you a quest to defeat the wolf and that's how you obtain your broom so to defeat the wolf i would advise y'all to just have friends and then the, that marker this marker right here is gonna appear it's gonna show you exactly where the wolf is which is in that direction you can go that direction like i said again that marker right here the wolf that direction that's how you obtain your broom and i'll also make a video on how to obtain your broom and i'll make a few couple of videos for y'all today and then for crafting crafting you go to the blacksmith when you go to the blacksmith right when you go to the blacksmith spears hammers they current uh they currently have no skills the only um weapons that have skills are regular swords even Daggers has no skills right now. So when you come to the Craftsman, um, he asks you for a long handle and you don't know how to find a long handle. A long handle, if you uh, move yourself from him, you can go straight down here and then you can go to the shop right here. This guy, he sells materials like your long handle, um, your hilt, um, sword hilt. He, sword, he, he sells like everything you need, like long handle, sword hilt, and much more. Now you want to come back, and if you go and if you need um, iron, and you want to find out where it is, you can click on this guy right here. He will look. Uh, he will show you where you can find iron, um, stone, and copper. So if you click on him, the quest will lead you in the direction. And when you do um, go that direction, and you see the big wolf. You just want to go inside the demon's mouth, and then you should be well the the cave. You the cave that's right behind the wolf. You just want to go inside, and you. You should just follow the path. There's going to be a open to your right, which I'm going to show you. It should be an open to your right, and you should just go straight th um, through the open. But, and for those who know that I'm reposting this video, just know there's, there's a lot of people that didn't understand the first one. And I feel like, you know, if I give a pro tip, a pro tip guide, you know, I could show you. So, because there is, there is another way you can get in here, but... You know, you can get in here right here. And you can go through here. 
And then once you go through here, this is the cave. The cave has the copper, the iron, the stone, everything you need and you need to craft the weapon. And um, another disclaimer, whenever you, um, whenever you're crafting your weapon, you're not guaranteed to get something. So if you end up not getting something, don't think the game is bugged. It's just you craft by chance. You craft by chance. Not everything is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed at all. Yep, you craft by chance. Um, and if you have any video ideas for me, please comment it down. Anything that you need help with, comment it down so I can post some more content, please. Um, another thing that we can cover is we can talk about stats and what stats do. So a lot of people will be confused once they um, get in the game how stats work. Because I know I had a little bit of confusion with it. Stats. When you go into stats, you go to character. We have dexterity, we have strength, intelligence, and constitution, right? Constitution is mainly for um, to increase your health, to increase your mana. So it increases your mana and health. Intelligence is for ma uh, magic damage. So if you're going like, um, say if you're going like a mage build, you'll go intelligence. If you're going for blunt weapons like hammers and like, you know, um, hand blades like the new Halloween update, strength would go nice with those ha uh, hammered blunt weapons whatever blunt weapons they decide to add in the game in the future for dexterity you can go with slashing and piercing weapons so a spear or like a a regular um sword you know dexterity is your best friend hopefully that covers it down and if you was wondering what's max level max level currently in the game right now is 90 and for the um if you wanted to know what what's the best magics the best magic is currently great tree blood void lightning and then for traits heavenly noble uh love by mana those are the three best traits and then for race i'd have to go with high elf um hybrid elf um Ma mahari and then um Ryuman. so those are some pretty good races so now we're gonna go into magic magic skills how exactly they work and how they scale so with magic right you get your grimoire we have this thing called the four leaf with a four leaf with a four leaf grimoire you get an extra skill and i don't know if this is true or not but it might or might not increase your damage but we know it we know that it gives you an extra skill so if you have a four leaf it's most likely that grimoire jumps from being a regular to a legendary so you should keep it for our healing i know what the healing um gets an extra skill with healing you get a revive so if you put if you put this yellow aura barrier on the floor and people step in it if they die they come back to life for wind you get a barrier you get like a boss barrier around your body that um, protects you from damage for great tree magic you get great tree and it allows you to heal your companions whoever's in your party anybody that's outside your party doesn't get healed and this 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 video I know way more than I did before so I'm gonna cover a lot um avoid magic currently not completed and only has three skills uh, um blood blood it comes with three um three moves and the last one being the serpent the serpent is when you first get it it's very small but you can make it progress and i will talk about that right after what else what am i not um covering uh flame flame you get this flame pillar that spins around it's like another version of this right here but just with flame yep and that's about it and then currently in the game the best blade is this blade currently in the game a drop there you go and there's multiple blades we have um, the golem if you want the spike if you want the spike weapon if you want the spike drop if you want if you want I guess the spike drop I don't know what you would call it, but the bone, I'll call it the bone blade. If you want the bone blade, the spike drop, you get it from the ogre. The ogre is going to be over there. Same thing I was telling you when you go to the guy right here at this, um, at this spot right here that gives you a quest, he's going to eventually tell you to kill an ogre. Once you hit level 40, once you hit level 40, you want to go to the castle and you want to do the, um, the quest that tells you to kill, kill the, uh, Wolf Hunters, yeah, there you go. I'll be forgetting their names. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot to remember. You want to kill the Wolf Hunters. And yes, they updated the game's quest, so now you can find the hideout. 
so you could complete the quest over there so the wolf hunter quest is right here whenever you see whenever you see a quest with this above its head it's repeatable say if you want more spins also you can do daily quests daily quests are located inside the, the inside the new halloween event and also they are located in those areas over there i'm gonna show you right now i'm gonna try to keep this video at least 15 minutes long so i can cover at least most and then i'll probably do a part two if y'all need a part two of information So once y'all come over here, y'all gonna see like these blue markers with a with a D on it, right? So once y'all click on it and y'all acquire the quest, it literally said, "All right, go find the temp, uh, go find the cat," right? So it gives you two spins, it gives you 750 XP, it gives you 200 gold. You just wanna go straight over here. Straight over here, the cat is always located by this guy. So later on, a lot of people don't know this, but this guy, he gives you, he allows you to double jump and he allows you to uh, mana block, right? You wanna go over here, you talk to the cat and you just earn yourself two free spins from just doing a regular quest. And then you can go to the other one, which is over there, right next to that quest. If you go back in that same area, you'll find it. And this is Venom, this is the boss I was talking about. He oh, he uses void magic, so I would tell you, to, I would advise you to kill him with somebody. There are world events, there are world events. The world events are is a warlord he spawns over here with a pike he's he, um he is able to drop his vanguard this boss right here also spawns he's he's able to drop his armor and his blade he spawns right here in the in the middle the bandit lord that's what his that's what his name is there's another event which is a black um a black merchant he spawns on top of this mountain over here where you can obtain um drops that drop from the wolves but you need a lot of wolf fur so i would advise you to just just form the um, wolf hunters that's just a pro tip and another thing i would tell you to do is um once you hit like level 40 40 or 50 don't worry about your levels too much but form this guy just continuously form form the ogre farm him until you get his blades and like items but by, by the time you're done you're probably gonna hit like 10 levels without even noticing it and i would advise you to do it with a party obviously <laughs> for builds for builds build, builds should go based off of your trait so if you're focusing more on builds, um, builds should go based off of your trait. If you get noble, go the mage, go go like the mage route, or you can be, you know, you could be a little bit of a hybrid, but you're not gonna be that strong. But if you want to maximize your build, say you get heavenly restricted, you want to go mainly strength. So I would advise you to go um, stonekin. Stonekin gives you more health and it gives you reduction to blunt damage. So any physical incoming damage you um, have a 25% reduction from. It gives you extra health. It gives you um, con, so which even gives you more health. And then for magic, I would say go healer, so you can heal yourself when you take damage. So that's a great build right there for love by mana, which I'm using right now. I'm gonna tell you exactly my build, but this could work with any grimoire, whatever grimoire you have. And if you have a four leaf, even better. You wanna go if you can obtain Mahari, or if you can obtain high elf, or um hybrid elf those are those are the three races i would advise you to have with this um mana with love by mana it's, it's, it's cold where i'm at so i'm a little sick and i'm a little bit disappointed today also guys so bear with me because this video is not going to have no sound nothing at all it's going to be just a raw cut video not even edited just straight up all my videos are going to be like this for a while because you know youtube is weird youtube is super weird and i can't make the videos any litter for y'all i'm i apologize in advance um but yeah those are the races and that's the traits that y'all can also use in builds i'm currently working on more builds i will post a video on builds that y'all could possibly make a whole chart for it and you know everything like just laid out and if y'all want to increase how fast your mana regenerates i can come this way there's an npc in this forest right past the fire bandits so by the time you get to this point in the game you will for sure know where the fire bandits are you just come this way and you can increase your mana so a lot of people don't notice but you can come back to this npc twice so the first the first quest that he gives you is going to bring you to the ogre he's going to ask you to kill the ogre and then when you come back to him he's going to ask you to go collect four four mana um lilies right with the four mana lilies the four mana lilies they spawn 
they spawn from just picking up grass. Like you see how lilies are right here, you got blue ones. So the mono lily, it glows. It glows like my, my mono aura. You know, it has like this little blue aura. Like as soon as you see it, you'll be able to tell it's a mono lily. But it does have this blue color with just an aura. So when you pick up a flower, right, you give the flower a chance to spawn in something different. It could spawn in grass, it could spawn in the fire lily, it could spawn in the blue lily, or it could spawn in the mono lily. So those are the like the different types of lilies that are in the game. So what I would advise you to do is stay in this area and pick up every flower or lily and then make sure you pick up the grasses because the grasses, they could blend in. They could blend in. So what I would say is just like levitate over the ground like this and then you can see two grass over here that you can pick up so it so it doesn't blend in too much there you go pick up those grasses now you gave it time for like a few to um spawn and i'll just say rotate go down there where you see the blue lilies wherever you see lilies right perfect look there's a mana lily right here i'm gonna show you an example this this right here is a mana lily that's exactly what it looks like so it has this aura around it and you got to collect four of those to complete that quest and i'll be ending the video off here i'm not gonna keep you out any longer let me know if this video was helpful and if it was if it was better than the first one you know i apologize for everybody who watched the first one and didn't understand it completely i feel like i covered a decent amount and then i'll go ahead and cover on all armor drops and which boss drops them and all that good stuff catch you on the next video peace